If you're seeing this message, that means the original version of this video, though the discussion we're in was transformative in nature, therefore making it comply with the fair use, has been blocked on copyright grounds. So this video is a re-upload consisting of little to no audio-visual content from the episode, basically making it a review. This video will consist of all of my discussion related to the episode, as well as my bonus, which is basically my blooper reel. The baby has now discovered that I stay in my room all the time, so now she comes up to my door and uh, cries. Hello, my name is Chantel from Chantel is Probably Sorry. This is Black Lightning 111 called Black Jesus, the Book of Crucifixion. Now, I left this in the description of my last video, 110, but 110 has now been blocked, so I'm just gonna say it here. Fun fact, it only takes about seven pounds of pressure to rip off a human ear. You know, since Lala did the nasty thing that I didn't need to, 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 to see. But also the visual effects on that were cool. But that's not the point. <laughs> Speaking of blocked videos, I will start to begin the process of re-uploading review versions or edited, further edited versions of my videos that have been blocked. I'll probably start with Black Lightning, then move to Flash, maybe then do DC's Legends of Tomorrow because those are mainly the ones that have been blocked. And what I would do is I would go back and re-edit the video and take out the reaction part or most of the reaction part to make it so there's little to no audio visual content from the actual episode in my video making it basically a review video. So I'd be re-uploading kind of review versions of these videos that have my intro comments and outro comments and bonuses and intros and stuff. Ronnie King asks, can we all get along? It's an existential question. Okay, so can we? I don't know. If humans were so stupid, yeah, we could. And let's focus and exchange homework. Are you finished your task, Carl? Boy, you know to be cheating off the asses. <laughs> you change papers with your friends. <laughs> it's like, yes, you got it correct. Change the answer. Is that not what happens in schools nowadays? Everything will be fine. Don't you dare. Calm down. Jennifer. Calm down. I need you to be calm. With the calm. That lipstick. Mm-hmm. It's not for the lipstick. Hey. What? Get back in the school. Take care of everyone. Why are they so reckless? You look good, girl, but... <laughs> mood, don't touch me. Mood, big mood. You bitch. Sorry. How you go from wanting to get in them draws to, 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 to play in drugs? Uh, I mean... You know what I'd appreciate? If no one would drop spoilers. If the video is not already on my channel, don't say anything about it. Thanks. I would appreciate that. Because someone recently commented um, on one of my Black Lightning videos. The, it was last week's. So it's now blocked. About um, this guy having to strip naked in front of police or something. And I'm like, oh, that never happened. And then I'm like, oh, that's probably going to happen. So just don't do that. I would appreciate it. Because I try not to spoil the audience on anything unless I let you know I'm about to spoil you beforehand. Don't, I don't like spoilers. You know what you did? You spoiled me. Thank you. I'll talk about it at the end. You can help me or not, but I'm going. Like I said, if your father wanted out this way, he could do it himself. Why does if she you always look so good? Identity, it could endanger Jennifer. Your mother, too. Prove to the ASA that Jefferson Pierce isn't Black Lightning. Pero, hey. como? <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> oh, there's a birthday lady in the house. Let's go wish her happy birthday. And what I mean by pero como, I mean how, when, 
He's already verging into his powers when he's upset and when he's being arrested and subjected to, to treatment that doesn't feel fair. If he already has an issue controlling his powers, he did control them, yeah, but they were <laughs> about to spark up. How are we going to prove he's not Black Lightning? Unless you find a way to neutralize his powers. Not like... Yeah, we'll neutralize his powers, but not in the way the ASA would. Hello, here's a pill. Your powers are turned off. How's it going? Henderson is the realist. I was gonna wait until the end, but Henderson is a real one. <laughs> Mood, oh my god. Watching uh, her walk away. You know what? I'm hungry. I'm really proud of the self driving van. You know, there was a self-driving car that hit someone and killed someone recently. For now. Nice. I embrace my new role as Deputy Chief. And I promise the people of Freeland a better police department. I like you, Henderson. And I have chills. I hate this show. You're the old. sauce on pizza. I don't think I've had hot sauce on pizza. And I don't think I want to try it. I like jalapenos on pizza. I don't like hot sauce. And when I say I don't like hot sauce, I mean I do not like American hot sauce. I like Jamaican pepper sauce. And I like making my own habanero sauce. But I don't like American hot sauce typically. It tastes too much like vinegar to me. I eat it, it tastes like I'm eating pickles with a little bit of hot, and that's not what I look for in hot sauce, so. That doesn't smell like it's gonna be hot. Okay. For me, this tastes too much like, um, too strong of a vinegar taste, and there's another taste in there. Probably, is there mustard seed in this? Cause, yeah. There is mustard in this, I can taste it. Jamaican hot sauce is my shit though. Okay, so that was Black Lightning 111 called Black Jesus, the Book of Crucifixion. <laughs> you know, for a minute there I was worried that Jefferson would actually end up going to the black site. Cause it could have gone that way. It could have gone that he went to the black site. Well, it's a black site, so how would they find him? Anyway, I was a bit worried that it was gonna uh, come to him ending up at the black site. It didn't happen. Gamby pulled off some fancy trickery with the hologram to fool the ASA and it got Jefferson released. And not only that, that was a relatively happy episode, happy ending at least. We have Jefferson out of jail. We, well, Jefferson alive, first of all, and off the radar for now. We got some corrupt officers out of the um, department. So now we have Henderson, who's the realist, as the new deputy chief. The episode actually ended with a lot of, of, of hope, I guess. Uh-oh, is she coming to my room to cry? Okay, she's gone. It kind of feels as though we closed, closed a chapter. How many episodes are left in this season? Which now means that Tobias is coming back because we've kind of, I'm assuming we're gonna be moving a bit away from the ASA now that Jefferson has been cleared. There's no reason for the ASA to be on Jefferson's back. Of course, the ASA will still be involved in the, the green light, but I'm assuming we're gonna see Tobias and Lala. It's been a few episodes since we've seen Tobias or Lala. Well, no, we saw La La last episode, but it's been a few episodes since we've seen um, Tobias. When Jennifer was talking to her mom about how she was worried that her dad wasn't going to be coming back, I was impressed with China. Again, I've been impressed with her. We've seen her have to portray more and more emotional depth with the character. And I, I mentioned this recently, I think maybe 108, possibly 109 how everything I'd seen of China was from when she was a little girl and when I was a kid and I didn't see much of Ant Farm. I've only seen like Daddy's Little Girl and a bit of Ant Farm, but that's it. This is my first time really seeing her in a role in this age when she is more mature as an actress. And I appreciate what I see. I wrote down that Henderson is a realist, so, cause I was gonna say it at the end, but 
that's that's how I feel about Henderson. He is coming in real clutch. Eventually, they're going to have to tell Henderson that Jefferson is Black Lightning, and I think that would be eventually helpful to them to have someone in the police force on their side. Well, I mean, I guess he is already on their side, but, but more on their side. Here's the thing about me and spoilers, first of all. There is a very high chance that once I know what's about to happen, I will not experience it the same way. It's kind of like a tickle. If you try to tickle yourself, there is a large chance that you won't be able to or that you will not feel the tickle as intensely as if someone else were tickling you. And that is because of the element of not knowing, the element of surprise. Your body perceives and your nerves perceive the sensations in completely different ways. And I don't know, that was, that was kind of a, a, a weird comparison, but I, I hope someone understood what I was trying to say there, that for me, not knowing actually does make a difference. Because if I know, that takes all the fun out of it. I've already prepared myself for what's about to happen. So because someone had mentioned the, the arrest, even though I had no clue what they were talking about when I initially saw the comment, when I realized that that's what was happening this episode, it took a lot of the power out of this scene for me. It was a powerful scene and I, I could tell it was a powerful scene. I could feel it was a powerful scene, but it didn't hurt me the way it probably would have if I had just been seeing it without knowing it was going to happen. Especially with all the pain we could see on the, the character's face think Cress, I think is how his name is pronounced, the actor's name who plays uh, Jefferson. I think he did a, a good job portraying those scenes, which could be difficult to portray. I feel as though he did a good job conveying the emotion that was supposed to be conveyed in that scene. And it did make me feel, it did, in case that scene ends up getting edited out. It did make me feel just probably not the way it would have if I hadn't known what was going to happen. So the gist of the comment was that Black Lightning is only superhero to ever in history have to strip butt naked in front of police officers. What's next? Is his superhero daughter going to get raped? That was basically what the comment said. And I think that's the point. That is the point. Obviously, each television show has its own creative license. I have not seen all the superhero television shows, um, not the ones from the, the 80s. I think there were some going on in the, the 60s, maybe. I haven't watched those. I've seen clips. I've seen episodes, yeah, but I haven't just sat down and watched. I didn't grow up reading the, the comics at all. Well, I grew up reading Garfield comics, but that was it. I didn't grow up with this stuff, but I am getting into it now. I do watch all the DC television shows except for Supergirl now. I have discussed how this show runs uh, in a completely well different country than uh, the rest of the DC TV shows. They're all shot in Vancouver, Canada. This is shot in Atlanta, Georgia. I've had multiple discussions on that on my page, but additionally, this is the only mainstream superhero show currently, or at least DC TV. It's not the only mainstream superhero show because we have Marvel and Luke Cage and other stuff. <laughs> it's the only DC TV show with um, a black superhero as a lead and the only one with like a black superhero family being the center of the show. It's also the only DC TV show that is not filmed in Canada and it's kind of its own, it's kind of in a way separate from the Arrowverse I've been hearing. It does deal with the concept of metahumans, which is what leads me to believe it's a part of the Arrowverse and it's had a few Arrowverse references, but according to most of the people on the internet, it's not officially a part of the Arrowverse. But anyway, it is first of all, a creative license. It is kind of up to a show or the showrunners what gets shown, but then it's also up to to the age uh, limitations in the in the ratings as well as the age range of the audience. Not to mention the offense because uh oh, that is a plot related spoiler. Never mind. Let's backtrack. I won't release any plot related spoilers 
but I will say that in one of the Arrowverse television shows recently, a superhero had been arrested, very much like this superhero here. The only difference is that one was a drug charge, which this one was, and the other was a murder charge. They were both framed and everything. And we didn't see with the other character with the murder charge, the whole intake process or the, the strip. The other show chose not to show the intake process, whether it be because they didn't find it necessary or because of the age range of their audience. I think it was probably also the age range and also the fact that it wasn't necessary. But to the commentary, of this show. I see why that scene exists. It is a part of the commentary of this show and that's how I see it. So it doesn't bother me at all that on one show they don't show the the intake process and on the other show they do because to both occasions what was shown was appropriate in my beliefs, appropriate to the narrative of the show, appropriate to the script, and appropriate to the audience. Furthermore, important to the characterization and character development of <laughs> the character. Just use the word character a bunch of times. But I guess that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Um, be sure to check out my channel, my playlists, or my description to see what other shows I watch and subscribe if any of those things interest you. Hope you're having a wonderful existence and I guess that brings me to... Bye. Hello, my name is Chantelle from Chantel is probably sorry. Probably. I gotta say about her. I love you. You're so southern. Southern. <laughs> I can hear how yeah. southern it is. <laughs> oh, I have to refresh the page. An idiot. I planned on leaving for school in 45 minutes. This thing better hurry the <laughs> up. Oh, I have 10 minutes to get out of here. Protecting people is in your blood. There are certain things no one can train you for. <laughs> Everything you need is all <laughs> I dropped him and I caught them. I'm a genius. You know what? So some... How did I do that? It may end up being edited out, but in the scene where Jennifer was talking to you head, sorry, my computer just with her acting as I, oh, there's so much noise going on out there. Why the are these walls so thin? Eventually they're going to have to let him know that Jefferson is, oh my God, why the I feel like he conveyed the emotion that was necessary. Oh my god, who cares who it's up to? Can we just... I think it's the result of moving on back-to-back -back days. Didn't I just see him in a commercial? Consistent pod temperature. And we have Henderson, who's the realist, as the new Je Je Jeopardy chief. As the new deputy chief. Deputy. I shot the sheriff. Why am I... Mm. Why am I like this? The concept of minute. <sighs> I guess that brings me to...